And finally, we are up and running here then in Bitola at Boro Kudlevsky Arena. Macedonian crowd. Now they'll step in and try and get the first score on the board. Nice take. As ever for Filip Kuzmanovsky, who's already been very prolific in this competition. And he has another one to his collection. That's his 22nd of this season's Champions League. Filip Stanislav Angelovsky, who's the opposition coach. Too many steps there, so... Eurofarm Pelister have possession and the opportunity to open up an early cushion here. That's exactly what they do. Here again. Keeping two defenders occupied. Slow ball here. It feels like you're five or six behind. Such is the pressure the crowd apply. And there's some pressure applied by Martin Costa to each. It's Martin Costa. But Urosh Borzash because it keeps Eurofarm Pelister in front. We've come to expect with them. And a two minutes is. Kuzmanovsky. Saved by Mohamed Ali. Load here, the empty goal from Eurofarm Pelister to have an extra man. It's saved by Mohamed Ali. Now they need to get the keeper back on and quickly. So Mohamed Ali twice denied. Given away this time by Kiko Koshta. Fast break opportunity for Eurofarm Pelister. They've missed. The goal was gaping and he can't believe that he spurned that opportunity again. Everything going through Philip. And Sporting's key players yet to step on a, in an offensive sense. Wide it goes from Kiko Koshta. Good save there. Especially given that Sporting have scored 37 and 39 in their last two matches. Need to pick up the pace if they're to replicate those sort of numbers. Kuzmanovsky, easy say, it's at the previous one. So it is a change in take at this time. A left-hander who scores. In it goes from Bogdan Radivojevic. Bundled over essentially by Ilya Abutovic. Kiko Koshta, here's his brother Marti. It's a lovely dummy. Trevsky's made a couple of important stops already. And they work it wide to the right wing, and it's now 5 2 to Eurofarm Pelister. And he's got back to back scores, Radivojevic. Sporting need a score just to stem the tide here. And it's. Didn't reach the line. Egine Silva releases his captain, Salvador Salvador, and that's what they needed. Sporting back to within two. Back with Borzash, kept moving by Kuzmanovsky, but he's well muscled there. Borzash, easy enough for press forward with the fast break. Salvador, Salvador, it's too high though. Nice idea. To... Now he'd love to get into double figures this evening to match what Martin Costa did in round one. Already four turnovers for Sporting, three for Eurofarm. Pelister, but it's back to within one goal now. 5-4, it's another one for Martin Costa. And exert their authority. Kuzmanovsky winding up for the shot and finishing as well. It's his third of the night. And it's in. Converted by Thor. Possession. They can ill afford to lose the ball cheaply. It would result in a certain sporting goal. Instead, that's a brilliant goal from Pellister. Converted by. And then, sporting. Point of this first half. It's become very tight between Pellister and sporting. It's into the call. It was an attacking foul from Sater. And this to equalise, in it goes from Egine Silva, Sporting are back on level terms. Mitrevsky on the ball here now, it's the playmaker. Here's Hosny. Kuzmanovic, Hosny. And there's a free finish. Sporting looking to take the lead for the first time tonight, instead it's off target. Egine Silva completely missing. 
weren't able to hold on to that advantage for too long. But they do have possession here. Pashevsky died. They beat Sporting 31-25 in group phase of the European League some three years ago. Martin Costa with another goal. It's eight each. Referee to give passive play there. The hand is up. The threat is on. Peshevsky's dealt with it. He seemed to be inside the area when he shot. Another penalty, which is converted by Radivojevic. This looked good from the line. Kosta nearly lost the ball, gathered it again. The whistle still complaining as to what he feels is bad officiating. They step in again. Clever work for Peshevsky. It's off target. Gassamar had gone down saying he was charged off the ball illegally. Well, Utar up at nine each. Echine Silver again. Borsas giving away. Echine Silver, they can play the quick release. Instead, it's Salvador Salvador. And for the first time this evening, sporting lead. Salvador Salvador has four coaches play. Here he is again. This is Hosni. Wide it goes to the wing. Ten each. Just checking how many it is. Kuzmanovsky. What a player he is. Here he is again, Joao Gomes. He's forced his way through. And a two minute suspension. Than each. Here's Suarez. On for Joao Gomes. They've worked it wide to the wing and sporting score. Thorkelson. That's why the clock has been paused momentarily. Kuzmanovsky. Through it goes and into the back of the net. Usama Hosni on target for the first time this evening. Kiko Kosta. They feel this is passive play again. They've used the wing, but this time it's saved by Mitrevsky. Thorkelson denied on this occasion. By Pellister. Osni, Peshevsky on the spin. It's crept over the line. Every time, Angelovsky asking for passive play. On we go for the moment. They need to shoot, and they do shoot, and they score sporting. That was a really important finish there from Kiko Kosta. Don't want to undo all of this hard work that they've put in so far. Peshevsky, again it's crept over the line. He all framed, but he's more agile than he looks. Salvador, Salvador, saved by Mitrevsky. Echide is the empty goal. Peshevsky, again he's forced it hard. This sort of adversity in this season's Champions League. They have to respond. That's a good finish there from Yanguri. That's what they need slightly. Kuzmanovsky, it's off the crossbar. Desperately unlucky. Gassama off the crossbar at the other. And Pellister will feasibly have the last play of the first half. A chance to open up a three goal cushion. Kuzmanovsky to this deficit. They need to get a shot away. It's saved by Mitrevsky. To the expectations here in Bitola. And Sporting currently trail. To inflict a first defeat on Sporting in this season's EHF Machine Seeker Champions League. We're back up and running then for the second half. Sporting trailing by two in the white. There's Martin Costa wayward. They're hoping for a change in fortunes now with the Norwegian Christensen. But Kristen Simonovsky. Here's Kuzmanovsky. They're moving the ball beautifully. It's off the pose. Peshevsky couldn't deal with it. That's a bit of good fortune for Sporting. Can they make the most of it? Salvador, Salvador. And Kiko Koshka. That was magnificent. Kiko Koshta round the back, but I think the whistle. 
Here go Eurofarm Pellister. They tried the in-flight goal. It didn't come off, though, for Hosni. Here's Salvador, Salvador. Another goal for him. It's a prolific night for the skipper. Hosni. Kuzmanovsky drop. Suarez. Martin Costa. Penalty to Sport. Thorkelson's already finished once from this range. Thorkelson to equalise. Yes. And it's now 16 all. Ori Thorkelson. It's those two who are exchanging passes. Hosni. Philip Kuzmanovsky. Hosni sends it wide into the roof of the net. Excellent finish there. It's with Martin Costa. Martin Costa. There's the block. The modern brand of handball that sporting play all fast breaks and there's the same passive player possibility now Kiko Costa bounces it over the have to be a little bit quicker now they need to shoot Kuzmanovsky Borzash who's going to shoot Borzash has deflected it in 18-16 now for Pellister Sporting nearly lost the ball there they have lost the ball now Martin Costa Guilt barely finding the net with one in every two attempts. Hosni. And again, Hosni for Philip Kuzmanovsky. Through to the line, Peshevsky. Impressing the continent as a whole. More than six minutes now since Sporting last scored. They need that run to end. It doesn't end. Mitrevsky again. Keeping out Kipo Kosta for Sporting tonight and also aware that they've been keeping very close custody of the ball and they should score, they do score yet another one and he's enjoying his night what a finish that was from Bogdan 2016 now make that 2017 stepping in Philip Kuzmanovsky again, Peshevsky keeping a couple of players in wide occupied. That's over the top. Is there going to be a change in the momentum of this match? Gurri, Salvador, Salvador. It's reached Gurri again. Peshevsky. Given away by Radivojevic. Then the home crowd want passive play. Kiko Kosta bouncing it through at the line. It's finished. Sporting back to within one. Yeah, credit to Sporting and Yanguri in particular for that flurry of goals. Given away there. Koshevsky couldn't deal with on here. Sporting. Suarez now stepping in. No one. Hosni. And from the left wing, fizzed in. Svetan Kuzmanovsky. Lots of time here for Sporting to pull one back immediately. And they do with Gassama. Hosni. Peshevsky using his strength, but... Gurri. Suarez trying to move the ball more quickly as Ricardo Costa has demanded. Gurri! 21 all. And Gurri has scored four of Sporting's last five goals. Hosni, Peshevsky, Christensen, 28% to 17, much closer now, the save efficiency. Passive player possibility, that's why he shot, it's off the underside of the... Gurri, seems to be Sporting's danger man this evening. Kiko Kosta, Sporting are in front. And you can hear the roar, they know what a battle it's been this evening. He got arms up, so passive players. An ongoing prospect, easy save for Andre Christensen. Here's Gurri for Martin Costa, who's being held. Kiko. Kiko Costa went down the extra man for a couple of minutes. Can they get a couple more scores to really turn the screw? Kiko Costa for Salvador, Salvador. Kiko Costa, wide it goes to the left wing. Stakes are high. Hosni. 
Pashevsky. Radivojevic in flight goal. No, it's saved by Christensen. We've not seen a single Kemper this evening. That was the first one. It didn't come off though for Kuzmanovsky. Lovely eye minute mark. Jan Gurri for Martin Koshta. He found space, but Mitrevsky saw it and kept it out. That could be a big moment. Would have been a two minute suspension and he deliberately tried to kick away that bounce pass. Filip Kuzmanovsky, one back well by Christian Molga. You could just see the referee blowing. That one will count though. Kiko Koshta gives Sporting a two goal cushion. They need to make this count. Hosni straight at the goalkeeper. Locked down Pellister here. A reminder, it was 20 to 16. It's now 23 21. The bounce to readjust. There haven't been too many challenging saves for him to make. He has kept them out though. Filip Kuzmanovsky given away when he was looking for Hosni. I'm overlooking for it. Martin Costa! And that's why the celebrations are wild because they know it's pretty much job done. Stefan Pellister. Peshevsky. Hosni, they need to shoot and shoot quickly. They need three quick scores. Hosni, they work it to the wing, they do get a goal. There's still a little bit of belief left because of Bogdan Radivojevic. But we are into the final minute of the 60. Sporting can just take their time now. They've instead given it away. That is to believe now. Can they score? They can! Forto. Martin Costa, are they going to try and score? They've lost the ball. Pellister have the chance to equalise here. An astonishing series of events. Filip Kuzmanovsky, can they get the goal? They can! Wonderful scenes here. Baked it 24 each with the final game of handball here at Borokudlevsky.